<laughs> what is up everybody? Life's Apprentice. I'm gonna be doing some firewood today. If you guys watched my last video, kind of went viral, at least for me, about how my firewood business was failing. No, it's not really failing, it's just not going the way that I hope. I just wanna provide some context to the business because there's a lot of new people that watched it that don't know much about me or my firewood business. I had a lot of comments about roadside stands and signs and stuff like that. Well, I have that and I have a self-serve stand. I have videos of me making this and stuff like that. And I have all these two foot by about three, three foot tall for 20. And then I have one here that's about three foot tall by five foot for 60. And then over here, I have my pay box. I have some bundles and I have some covered $25 rack. So as far as selling firewood, I have been selling firewood. I had somebody just come and get $100 there, and it's actually a really good deal, at least for in my area. I had really mixed results as far as the advice that I was given. Some people told me it's way too expensive, I'm selling crappy wood. Other people said it's just fine, and my wood would sell eventually, which I, I believe that, and I have been selling wood pretty much all year. I just started on Craigslist List and Facebook. So all of the selling that I've been doing word of mouth and through my self-serve stand. Now I would say I have a lot of wood here and this isn't all of it and it goes further. I would say overall I probably sold 20 face cords out of maybe 70. I don't even know how many I have to be honest. 70, 80. And it's all pretty good quality wood. In our area we're blessed with a lot of good quality wood. Oak, hickory, locust, ash, maple, walnut, you name it, pretty much we have it. And this particular pile here, I've heard mixed results about this too, about how it's never gonna cure, it's never gonna dry. When you pile it like this, it needs to be stacked, it needs to be covered, etc. cetera. I, I intend on covering it when snow starts flying. We've had a couple small snows, not a whole lot of snows. Like I said, I'm just trying to give the viewers some context to, I guess, my firewood business because like I said, I got a lot of mixed results when you know I asked for advice. Now this pile, I thought that because it's ash, I could pile it up because it, it's a very low moisture content to begin with. Now I know that if you're doing this with you know green oak or something like that, you know, you're gonna end up with mold, end up with some really nasty wood. I have not found that to be the case yet, and I do have, you can see, my oldest stuff that is fully cured is all covered. And this stuff has been seasoned for over a year. This stuff has been seasoned for roughly a year. I'm asking for your advice again by giving you a little bit more of context. Um, I don't do this for a living. I burn my own wood. I have for a long time. I have a buddy who's in the tree service business, so I don't pay any money for logs. It's literally just my time. Really, my goal this year was to produce enough to pay for my Easton Made Ultra. I bought that Ultra, well, I, I ordered it about a year ago. My plan was to, this first year, produce enough firewood to pay for the Ultra. Now, I'm not figuring in all, all the other costs and stuff like that. I was just hoping to sell, I think that thing was $4,500. I was hoping to sell $4,500 worth of firewood, which is reasonable. So I produced enough firewood to pay for that. Now the issue is selling it. That is where I'm running into the problem. I am selling it, it's slow. We haven't had a whole lot of cold weather and stuff like that. A lot of people said, just give it time, give it time. Um, word of mouth is gonna spread. If you have a good product, people will come back, people will find you. I completely understand and I completely agree with that statement. Maybe my expectations were a little bit too high, but ultimately I feel like I'm not getting the results that I wanted. Some people told me to lower the price. Some people told me never lower your price. I'm holding strong with what I have right now. I'm doing $110 per face cord. My face cord is 16 inch pieces, four feet tall in an eight foot row. One row of wood, that is one third of a cord or a face cord the way that I know it. I know other people do it differently. Other people told me just selling fractions of a cord. Well, it is. A face cord is one third of a cord in my opinion, so that is a, a, a fraction of a cord. I'm willing to do full cords, face cords, or smaller quantities. Um, so I'm doing 110 for like the ash and mixed hardwood, and then the hickory, hard maple, and oak that I have, I'm doing $120 per face cord, and that's free delivery within 10 miles. I'm gonna fill up the, um, the stand up there. Like I said, I wanna make sure that that's full so that people, when they need it, it's there for them. And I want them to know that. That has sold the majority of my wood. 
is that, that stand out front. Three oversized buckets one of them didn't make it all the way out there this is the third one I'm on top of the pile you can see this is all stacked here on pallets this is all stacked on pallets this is all stacked on pallets and most of this is on pallets about from here to there is not on pallets but what I'm noticing people say you can't do this people say you can but I'm getting into the pile and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this wood I haven't found a single moldy piece this stuff's been sitting uncovered in the rain. It is ash, so I'm not too worried about moisture content as far as that goes, especially this stuff up high. Um, and then the stuff on the bottom, I probably will not sell um, to customers. What I'll do is once I get down to the bottom, is then I will stack the bottom, clean up all the, you know, all these chunks and stuff like this. These I've been throwing to the side and I'm burning them myself. The reason why all this happened and why it's not stacked is just because I had so much wood that I had to get done and you know, with multiple other jobs, cause like I said, this is a hobby that I just literally just couldn't keep up. And uh, I ran out of pallets. So I decided, well, hey, let's just throw it in a big pile. What's the worst can happen? Worst case scenario, I'll burn it myself. I'm getting in down towards the bottom down there and I haven't really looked, but right now I know that the driest stuff's gonna be on the top. So I'm gonna continuously just keep pulling off the top and then the sun can dry out the next level and so on and so forth. But this is all really nice wood. I guarantee you it's gonna burn. All right, let's go fill up that stand. All right, well, the first thing I'm gonna fill up is this right here. Here's my bundles, beautiful hardwood bundles. This is all ash, very nice, clean, beautiful wood. And I'm selling these bundles, they're oversized bundles for $5. And then this rack here is slightly bigger than my $20 rack over there. Um, this stuff is covered and this has been here longer. So like I've had this for about two years and so like my og customers a lot of them will pull out of this just because it's covered it's dry and out there i haven't really come up with a good way to for people to be able to see the wood visually and keep it covered and the wind not blow it off or it be a safety issue for customers like putting metal over it or something like that so i haven't quite figured that out um, maybe you guys could leave some ideas but both these firewood stands that i've built i made videos about and uh, you know, they're nothing special, but they work. And I've sold over a year and a half about selling wood. I mean, I've sold several thousand dollars out of this. People like it. A lot of repeat customers, people keep coming back. I'm hoping that's what happens with my larger quantities and my deliveries, but it just doesn't seem to be working so far. I had a lot of comments in that last video about the types of wood. I was t people telling me that soft maple is junk and well, it's not the best wood, I, I understand that. Um, and m like the majority of the people that I'm selling to aren't buying it for heating, um, not straight heating, they're, selling, they're, they're buying it for supplemental heating and, and stuff like that. And uh, in the summertime, it's a lot of campfires and stuff like that. I'm also not buying wood, okay? So if I was to buy wood, I definitely would not buy maple, soft maple, but it's free. It's easy to cut, it's easy to split. It gets delivered right into my driveway. I'm not necessarily burning with it, but why would I say no? Because a lot of people told me that I shouldn't be selling that type of wood and stuff like that. And I understand their opinion if they're heating with wood. That makes perfect. The majority of what I can get readily and easily is ash. Um, and ash is super plentiful around here because there's lots of it dying. A lot of the trees are dying. Um, from the borer. I like ash, it's pretty easy to cut, it's pretty easy to split, it burns really nice, and it dries really fast, which is just all the things you want in a good hardwood. So that's why I'm selling a lot of ash. Most people aren't heating with it for fireplaces and small wood stoves in their shop or whatever. There you go, that one's full. That's $25, that is two feet by 42 inches. So do the math. It's a little bit over a hundred dollars a cord um, per or a third of a cord for a face cord. For a small quantity like that, I believe that's completely fair. 
And I know that, you know, you're getting a way better value doing that than buying bundles. For example, there's six bundles there. So let's say this is equivalent to about nine bundles, which would cost $45 if you're buying $5 bundles. Now here's those first two loads I brought out and those are just gonna get stacked in here. Now, if I had to say, I know a lot of people do firewood stands, this is the ideal way to sell firewood. One, I don't have to deal with phone calls and getting back to people or scheduling. They can come and get it whenever they want, 24 seven, and load it themselves. Ooh, look at that. Big old nail in there. They can pick and choose kind of what pile they decide oh they're all going to be slightly different if they know their wood there's going to be a little bit of a different variety in every one um, i also sell pine in the summer out of these because like again i can get it for free and some people like pine and i don't mind selling it if i get it for free but i'm on a busy highway so you can't necessarily do this everywhere i mean you could but i have a lot of traffic that helps. I'm also not putting necessarily all my best quality wood in here. Um, you can see there's some that are, you know, 12 inches, some that are 16. I, I don't cut anything over 18 or 16 on purpose because I know that a 16 inch piece can fit in just about any wood stove or fireplace. Another thing I'm not doing is I'm never putting my premium stuff in here, like I said. So you're never gonna find oak, you're never gonna find hickory, you're never gonna find that in here unless it slips through the crack. That stuff is all stacked. I take care of that a lot better just because it's more valuable, not only to a customer, but also to me. If I could pick one wood to burn, it would probably be oak. Now this particular customer that bought all this got around a face cord, just a little bit less for $100. You might say, well, I'm selling smaller quantities, why would I sell it for less than my ad? The answer is, I'd much rather sell it here for 100 than have to load it in my truck, take it to the customer, and deal with all that kind of stuff to make an extra 10 or $20. I'd much rather do this at my leisure, sell it right here at home, where people can come back and get wood whenever they want. And yeah, I'm not getting maximizing the amount of money that I can get for the wood, but I'm giving the customers a good deal, good wood, and really, I don't have to do a whole lot. Obviously, I have to bring it here and stack it and stuff like that, but that's not that big of it. It doesn't bother me at all. I guess the real thing that I'm having the hardest time with is I thought if I made a good product, which I have here, it is a good product, 100%, and I put it on Craigslist that it would sell. And that doesn't seem to be exactly the case. Now, a lot of you guys said it's just gonna take time, and I completely agree with you. I just thought I'd have more interest when I started. I've had a lot of people ask me how much the price were and all that kind of stuff and not take the wood. Part of that probably because it's higher end, it's more expensive, but I don't know. I would even told people I'd give them a deal just to see what they would do as an experiment. And I told them like $280 for a full cord, three face cords and they still didn't take it. And then it included delivery and everything like that. So something's telling me that my issues are mostly price. That's where I'm struggling because I wanna produce more wood and I wanna sell more wood, but I don't know if the key to doing that is lowering my price or not. Some people even mentioned lowering my price until I get some customer base and then raising them once I have those customers. I don't really want to do that because I've tried similar things in my other businesses and usually people remember. So if you do that and then they call back, you know, a week later, a month later, a year later, and you doubled your price, they're like, well, what the heck? Last time it was this price. That's one thing I, I just kind of want to avoid. I would like to. Oh, there it is. I actually had about the exact perfect amount. And so this is how my stand works. Um, that guy bought the 60 and 220s, which is about eight feet, but it's not quite four feet. So it's maybe like 38, 40 inches tall. So it is really a good deal. Um, it is good wood. I'm not concerned about the quality or it being clean. I have the tractor. 
when I do deliveries, I load everything by hand. I'm not scooping out of that big pile with the tractor and dumping it into my trailer. So as far as good quality, you know, precisely cut for the most part, good quality, dry, clean wood, I have it. Um, I am doing that. So that's not the issue. I think the biggest issue is price. Now, that being said, I know that there's a lot of guys out there doing it cheap. I was even accused in my last video that the reason I can't sell wood is because of people like me on YouTube and just kind of creating a firewood gold rush. Well, first of all, I'm not the first one to do this on YouTube. And if you guys watch firewood videos, you know that. You have lots of other great YouTubers and uh, they're doing the same thing, promoting the same thing. There's a lot of people that already split wood and maybe have a little extra and selling it. People have been selling firewood since fire was created or trading it in some way, shape or form. So I did not create my own issues or problems. That's not the case. And it sounds like there's a lot of people out there that are producing wood that are just selling it too cheap. That's their, that's their prerogative. But I know to cut, split, stack and deliver a face cord of firewood or a third of a cord takes a lot of work and it's not worth doing it for 50 or 60 bucks. That's just my opinion, and I would not do it for $50 or $60. I'd like to get about double that. By the time you figure in your equipment and everything, like I have a tractor, I have a truck, I have a dump trailer, I have splitters, I have saws and everything like that, but I had all that before I started selling firewood. So, like I said, I'm not doing it for a living, just trying to sell a little bit of extra, and I thought the, the results would... Uh, would be a little bit easier. Now that being said, I understand business isn't easy. Sometimes it just takes time. Maybe I'm just getting a little bit over anxious or I set my expectations too high. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I do lots of different types of videos. Um, I have another channel called Wisconsin Outdoors. I do a lot of hunting and fishing and type videos over there. If you guys are interested in that, the link is in the description. If you would subscribe, I will be doing more firewood videos. I will be out cutting some firewood here soon. Deer season's pretty much over now, so I'm gonna be on my land cutting some oak and some cherry. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a comment uh, if you have any insight for me. I appreciate the massive amount of feedback I got on the last video. So many people willing to help me and give me their advice. I really, truly do appreciate that. I appreciate you for watching. I will see you on the next one.